So I was having a conversation with a friend of mine today, somebody that I regularly talk to. We talk about YouTube strategy and different ideas for making our videos better. And the question that he asked me was, should you use YouTube chapters? Are they really valuable? And we had a good conversation. And so I had the idea to make this video just to talk briefly about YouTube chapters, why I use them and why I think they are so incredibly powerful for your videos. And we're going to talk about that right now. So welcome on in. I am Ken, your content coach. And again, in this video, I want to talk about YouTube chapters, when you should use them, are there times you shouldn't use them? I'll give you some tips or reasons why I think they are so valuable. And I will actually show you how to use them. So before we go too much further, I want to talk about what are YouTube chapters, just in case you're not aware, you probably are at this point, but just in case you're watching this and you're not sure if you're a new YouTuber, I want to show you what YouTube chapters are. So if we go to YouTube, I'll show you chapters on one of my videos here. So YouTube chapters are basically the bars across the bottom. This is going to be how you set up and design checkpoints, chapters for your viewers so that they know what each segment of your video is about. So as you can see in this one, I've got my introduction for this video, and this is basically going to roll through my intro the way that I do it. Right, and then we go to the part where I start talking about in this video, what you need for masking in Final Cut Pro. So that's that chapter, how to use it, which is the longest section. And then I got it broken down in my conclusion. But when you see the bars across the bottom like this, these are chapters. Now, the cool thing about chapters is that you can also see at the bottom, there's an arrow and you have the name of the chapter below. So if you hit that arrow, if you're on desktop, it's actually going to open up over the side here so that people can see the chapters, what they are, the timestamps, all that stuff. They can actually click on any one of these and go straight to that point in the video. So if I want to skip all of this and get straight to the tutorial, you click there, it takes you straight to that part of the video. So this is very useful for your viewers. Now I want to talk about first, do you need to use these in every video? When should you use them? This is very simple. I think, it's not going to hurt you to use them in every video, but the videos that they are going to do best in they're, they're made best for are your longer videos. If you have a long video, you can break it up into chunks so that your viewers can kind of skip around. They can find what they're looking for. It's especially important if you're doing a tutorial or a how to type video, because if you name your chapters properly, then your viewers can go to that section of the video. If there's some specific piece that they're struggling with, they're wanting to learn how to do. So very valuable. Now you may not need to use chapters in some cases, if you have a shorter video or if your video is so super high engagement that people are going to watch the whole thing anyway, then maybe chapters aren't as necessary. In my view, I use chapters in every video, no matter what it is. And I just think it's valuable. Now, what I want to do now is give you three reasons why I think chapters are so valuable. And then we'll go into how to set up chapters on your video. So my number one reason why I believe chapters are vital for your videos is because they make your content more convenient for your viewers. Now it's no secret that we want to design our videos in a way that viewers want to watch the entire video. We need that engagement. We want the watch time. We need to bring value to our viewers and chapters is one way that we can do that. So as I kind of stated a second ago, it just makes it more convenient for them. If it's a longer video, if it's a how to, if it's a tutorial and you name your chapters effectively, that's going to help your viewers to go through that video, pick up the chunk they want to pick up. It just makes it super convenient, easy to navigate through your video. So the second reason that I think the chapters are so valuable in videos is because it's going to provide an outline to your viewers. So a lot of times when somebody comes to watch your video for the first time, I've done this many times, I'll kind of skim through the video a little bit first to see kind of what the entire meat and potatoes is of that video. And then I may go back and watch the whole thing. I want to know that if I'm going to watch a 15, 20 minute video that I've looked up, I want to know that I'm going to get what I'm looking for out of that. So for me, it's easy to see an outline on the side. If I see, you know, what you need for masking in Final Cut Pro, how to do masking in Final Cut Pro, I know that I'm going to be able to get through that video and that that is exactly what I'm looking for. So it does provide an outline. Think about if you're reading a long book and you want to see the chapters, or if you're reading like a self-help book, or something like that, where the chapters may be about different pieces, then when you read through the table of contents, if there's a specific thing that you're looking for, you'll know by the table of contents of that book that what you're looking for is there. You may read the entire thing to get to that. So everything makes sense, but either way, no matter what kind of a book it is or what kind of video we're talking about, 
that general outline is going to give your viewers a good idea of what the overall video is about and may keep them there watching that video. Now, my third reason for using chapters in YouTube videos is because honestly, it increases your visibility across Google, across YouTube. Have you ever gone to search for something on Google? If you go search for, I'll show a few examples here. Let's say that you want to go search for how to screenshot on a Mac and you see the videos that pop up. So this video here is a desktop version of that. And as we scroll down, you're going to see here that you see the video. Google's going to show you kind of some key points in the video. Those are the chapters that that user, that that maker created in that video. So that's going to help your Google search, your SEO, all that kind of stuff. It's going to help your video become more visible. It's going to show searchers, people that are looking for that specific content. It's going to show them that, Hey, this video has it. Google has recommended this. And so I can click right here and see this. Also, if you've ever noticed, if you search for something on Google and you go watch that video, a lot of times, if you click the video itself, it'll automatically jump two, three minutes into the video to specifically what you were searching for. So those chapters have provided that. So with all that being said, how do you add chapters to your video? So I'm going to take you back to my video one more time. So as you're uploading your video, the way that you add chapters. So basically when you're uploading your video to YouTube, when you're writing your description, it's very simple to add your chapters. So as we scroll down here, you're going to see down towards the bottom of my description, I list out my chapters. So it's this easy. You start your first timestamp zero, zero, colon, zero, zero, whatever you want to call that first chapter. And then you just go through there and list your chapters. So each timestamp that you put here, in this case, it's one minute, 24 seconds. Here's my title of that chapter, another timestamp, another title down to my last chapter. And that is exactly how that is done. So when you put those chapters in like that, that's exactly how YouTube is going to know how to list those chapters out, how to show that in the video. So hopefully this video is going to help you to determine whether or not you should use chapters in your videos. Again, my recommendation is to always use chapters. If you have a short video or a video that is just super engaging and people are going to watch the whole thing, or if it's, you know, like a vlog or something like that, then maybe it's not necessary. If you're doing longer videos, if you're doing tutorials and tips and tricks and how to's like I do, then you definitely want to use chapters in your videos. So hopefully this video provides you some value guys. If you have any comments, any questions about chapters, make sure you throw them down in the comment box. I will answer those. If you enjoy this type of content and this is what you're looking for on YouTube, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. Once again, make sure you click all notifications. That way you will know every time a video comes out from this channel. And if you found this content valuable, hit that thumbs up. That always helps the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys. Hope you guys all have a great weekend. As always, go out and make some great content. Go out and kill it. If I can help you reach out my website, yourcontentcoach.live. You can find all that in the description of this video. That will link you to everything that I have going on. I appreciate you stopping by here. Have a great weekend. And as always, just hit record.